So there's a uh, there's a memorial coming through town. In fact, artist Grammy's neighbor, Marcia, was part of the one who organized this. And when you were really little, up in Virginia, there's a memorial for Vietnam uh, American soldiers who died in the war in Vietnam. The Vietnam War was from the late 1960s until 1973 and uh, there was a lot of turmoil around that war there was this really bad leader in China who who uh, who tens of millions or hundreds of million Chinese people starved to death basically because of this person who took over control of China after World War II his name was Mao and the Vietnamese were there was North Vietnam and South Vietnam and the the communists who were led by uh, I guess Mao was still in power I'm not sure if he was still in power at, the, at that point but uh, were being invaded and part of Vietnam was trying to remain free and part of Vietnam had joined the communist China party and it's a long story the French had fought over there for a long time and then America got involved in the war and it was a lot of uh, it was politically it was a very cantankerous situation America had some pretty bad politicians in power during that period of time also so there was a lot of uh there's a lot of just all kinds of bad stuff happening around that war, but the soldiers who went were fighting for, uh, you know, the American cause and what they were, were doing, were, you know, the soldiers were doing was based on uh, their, you know, fighting for freedom over, over uh, ty ty tyranny. So... But unfortunately, because of there was so much political um, problems around the war that a lot of the soldiers, when they came back to America, who were completely just doing what they thought was best for America and what was best for freedom, had a lot of, just a, a very, uh, it was very hard on them because people took out a lot of their beliefs and philosophies about what was was right or wrong and uh, they took it out on the the soldiers and um, it caused a lot of pain for a lot of the soldiers but that wasn't everybody that did that and grandpa bill had two brothers who were in vietnam and, and grandpa bill wasn't in the military but he he went to vietnam as a uh, on a as a merchant marine on a supply ship and um so later they built a memorial in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's called The Wall, and it has the names of all the people who, that didn't make it back from Vietnam. Either they died or they were taken prisoner. But uh, the, so, so a lot of soldiers, a lot of people died in Vietnam. A lot, it was a very, there was a high casualty rate in Vietnam. And, and so now, a lot of people still remember Vietnam. It, it ended a few years before I was born, but um, there's, I think, been a lot of reconciliation around that war, and I think a lot of people feel as feel really badly about the way many the, sol the soldiers coming back from the war were treated, as they should feel bad about. And um, and so th there's still a lot. It's a it's it's a different kind of war, and. Uh, it was a different kind of war in the way that it was viewed in the country. And, uh, and so this is a memorial. This is a, a, a smaller replica of the wall that's in Washington, D.C. that travels around. And uh, it, um, 
you know, and you can see how much support there is for it and how many people, you know, were affected by the Vietnam War and how many relatives and people who had, you know, friends and family that died in the war were, were affected by the war, who came back from the war. There's still a lot of people alive today who fought in Vietnam and certainly lot, lots of people who were, uh, you know, or, or had their fathers or what not fought in the war. You know, there's a lot of people alive today that's my age or about my age whose who's, who's, who's fathers were, were soldiers in the war. So, so this is a memorial that's supposed to be coming behind these cars but it must be going slow over the bridge because all the cars and the motorcycles have, have just about, have just about called by, but there's still, the wall hasn't come yet. So let's see if it is coming over the horizon here. So it should be coming along and you can see the, the uh, fire department put up a really nice flag. It's a great big flag they've got hanging up from the top of a fire truck, boom. That boom on the fire truck is how they get up to high places in a fire. And so they, uh, they the firemen can ride up to the top on that boom at a fire, but they're using it to hold up a big flag. And uh, let's see, here's some traffic coming from over the bridge. And we didn't spend a lot of time walking around the wall when we were walking around um, but I'm pretty sure we did go by it because we went through all those memorials and I think I remember which area that was in I remember we we went through the uh, um, that was cool. yeah that was neat <laughs> Y'all have a nice day. Yeah. So, I'm not quite sure. Did the wall just go by and I didn't see it? <laughs> I'm not, I thought the wall would be, be on like a big trailer or something. But that was more of like a parade. Hmm. Maybe they took the wall across on a uh maybe they took the wall across on the main bridge because that would be safer possibly and then they just had the parade come through here and it's going to meet back up maybe i'll have to go back and look at the video maybe it was maybe i was just looking at all the cars going by and the wall went by <laughs> by <laughs> i don't know that was so fun but anyhow it's a very important part of history and it's important to try and be empathetic with people's situations. It's one thing just to think about being a good citizen. And it's fine for people to dispute the war politically. That's, that's what we do in America. We have freedom of speech and we're a democracy and people need to not just all follow along and agree to everything as individual citizens. But, but the but the people who, but, but the thing is, is we have a government and um, that we've elected and the soldiers didn't deserve to be uh, persecuted in this situation. They weren't, uh, they weren't the ones who were making the decision about whether or not America was going to be in a war. And some people felt very strongly not to join the war and they called draft dodgers or they moved somewhere got out of it you know and that's um some people debate whether or not that's ethical or or whatever but um that's part of a peaceful protest really i mean if a person really feels strongly about something um it's a pretty that's a right in the united states constitution is to peacefully protest meaning it's much more ethical to be a draft dodger in that situation than it is probably to be somebody who just is mean to a soldier who's coming back from a war doing what he's been told to do or following the orders of his country. Um, 
you know, and uh, and, it, and there was a very legitimate part of that war, and that was the um, the, the, the dispute between a very very bad uh, regime in, in communist China um, who had killed uh, just um godly number of people in very cruel ways I guess a group of people who at least to some percentage of them in, in Vietnam wanted to remain free from that and that was a very legitimate part of the a part of that war now unfortunately you can't deny what's been uncovered by history and there was a lot of uh, um uh, enrichment by people um, through uh, the America political system that um, certainly wasn't in line with the main you know, ethos of, of fighting for freedom and a lot of Vietnam veterans were uh, were injured by some of those those things um, but that's important to not be blind that that stuff happens so that we can, we need to keep an eye on these people who have a lot of power. So anyhow, it's good to see the, the wall and the memorial and the, uh, and the loving spirit for people who uh, died fighting for America and, and and freedom I love you